Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and start of another new series on this channel. So this starts out with the Tour of Heroes Angular tutorial. Pretty much what I wanted to do is just go over. So if you go to Angular's website, they have a Tour of Heroes tutorial on their website. And this is like, I guess what everyone's recommended to start off with when trying to learn Angular. So a little bit about me, a year ago, I was thinking about learning Angular. I did the tour of heroes. I forgot everything between then and now. And now I've been given a project to work, which I have to use Angular and then ASP.NET Core backend uh, for the API. And I had to go through and teach myself Angular again. And that was about like three weeks ago. So I figured, you know, as I'm learning, it might be a good idea. Well, it's kind of fresh, maybe in my mind, I'm still, you know, grasping things. Maybe it's a good idea to go over this tutorial with you guys. and We can kind of learn it together. And that's basically what this channel is, is we learn code together. So if that interests you at all, don't forget to hit subscribe and stick around for this series. I think it'll be fun. We'll see how it goes, if I continue with it or not, depending on the, the feedback. I just thought maybe it'd be a good start to talk about, let's just do the tour of heroes and see how this goes. Because if you do it on your own and you're just reading it, you might still be questioning some things and you might, you might find it dull and boring. And when you get to see someone working with you, maybe it's a little easier for you to grasp. And that's kind of what I'm going for with this series. So let me know what you guys think as well. I got my coffee here. Hopefully you do too. In today's video, we're just gonna set up our environment, create a new project, and then serve up that project and just look at it and, and get the base. I guess they give us some base code and we'll pull that up and uh, look at that in our web browser. And that's gonna be it for this one. And then we'll talk about components and all that good stuff. Some prerequisites they talk about, you should know, uh, the basics of HTML, JavaScript, and I guess TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, so anything JavaScript does, TypeScript can do, and more. There's strong typing in TypeScript. Um, and I guess maybe you should know a little CSS, but I'd like to introduce, I don't know if they do it in this tutorial, I forget, but maybe in a future series or whatever, I'd like to introduce Angular material components I guess is what they're called. Basically the bootstrap of Angular, and uh, that'd be fun too. So this is what the Tour of Hero apps is going to look like. They give us a what you'll build. This is the basic. So there's, I think two tabs, looks like dashboard and heroes. I honestly forget everything about this. So <laughs> we're kind of going in this together, uh, brand new. But we have a dashboard and heroes tab, and we have a bunch of different heroes. You can click on a particular hero, bring up their details, alter it, and then save, and, uh, Actually, I don't think you have to save, it's just bound. There's binding going on, so you don't even have to hit save when you when you change it. And then there's uh, another tab, Heroes, and it just displays all of the heroes that you have. And uh, they have this GIF going on, just showing what it, what it looks like. So, there we go. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get set up. If you've never built anything in Angular before and you don't have Node.js, you will want to install that on nodejs.org and you can get the long-term support. That's what I recommend, I guess, and that's what's recommended for most users. I'm a little ballsy and I went with the uh, current version. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I usually go for the long-term support, but. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna run this command, npm, which is the node package manager. So that's what Node.js is going to allow us to use is the node package manager. So that's what's going to install all of the uh, Angular necessities. And then also when we create a project, it's gonna bring on all of the packages that are required for an Angular project. So you'll run this line right here, this dash G makes it global, and uh, you're just installing the Angular CLI. And you can just do that in command line. I have VS Code up, and I would just run it right here. Um, and to bring up the terminal, you can either go to this terminal tab and hit new terminal, or you can hit control shift in the tilde key. I think that's how it's pronounced. And I have a new folder here called Tour of Heroes, and I'm just going to create once all of that's installed. And just to make sure it's installed, wow, that's wonky. Let's just do ng version. Oh my gosh, like that, finally. And to see if it's properly installed, you should get this Angular CLI. Um, I don't know what you would call this, like <laughs> a bunch of lines, and then it'll tell you what version. I have 12.1.1. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to clear this now. It looks like everything's good. Um, let's just go ahead and create our project. 
And any Angular command in the command line interface for Angular is going to start with ng. So if I want to create a new component in the future or I'm creating my project, I'm going to start it by ng for Angular and then whatever I'm going to do. So in our case, we're going to do ng and then new to say we're going to create a new project and then whatever we want to call it, you can call it tour of heroes, you can call it my test project, whatever, tour of heroes, I guess is what I'm going to make it. And then I'm pretty sure this is going to give us some kind of error. Yeah, okay, so I can't have underscore, I need to have dashes. Like that. So this will create it, and I still think we'll get a further error because there will be, and we'll just say, yeah, we want routing and CSS, sure. Because there will be some kind of conflict with the packages that we're installing. Because I tested this earlier, and I had to find a way to solve this, yeah. So if you end up getting this, this uh, Jasmine core is not able to be resolved. Um, let's go ahead and pull up what it created so far. So we have this tour of heroes now in our in our folder, and we can go to the package.json. And we're going to change two different packages. So this package.json, as far as I know, it's what tells Node Package Manager, this is all of the different packages you need to bring in. These are the versions. So what we need to change is the Jasmine core. I'm going to change this to 3.7.1. And then the Carmen Jasmine HTML reporter, I'm going to change to 1.6 like that. So we'll save that. And then let's re download all of the packages for our project here since it failed midway. And you can do that by npm install. Actually, I think we need to cd to that and then run npm install. Yeah. So cd to your project that it partially created, run npm install, and it'll re download all of these different packages that we need. And this will take a while. So you know, don't be uh, discouraged if it does take quite some time. All right, it looks like it uh, it did it did its thing and installed all those packages. I don't really care about the vulnerabilities too much. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm just ignorant, but that's okay. Um, we're in our project now, and I'm just going to do ng serve and then dash dash open. So what this is going to do? It's going to build it. It's going to serve it locally. Uh, do I want to tell Google what's going on? Nah, they know enough about me already. And then it's going to serve it up locally on a local host and then open it in our web browser for us. So probably Chrome, I think, is what I'll end up putting it out on. Cool, so that opened up on my other monitor. So let me bring it over here. And this is just the uh, basics. And then it gives you, here's the command to create new components they put. So this is the Angular code that was given to us just uh, right out of the gate when we created our project. And let's do something, let's change something about this real quick just to show you what's going on so let me minimize that and let me open up the source folder inside of our project folder and let's look at index.html and here is the very first html document that is going to be used it's like the parent html and then inside you can see what's this app root tag going right here well, the app root tag, if we expand even farther and open up the app folder, it's actually this HTML right here. And they have some uh, styles right at the top. Let's keep scrolling. And here's all of the HTML that is inside of this right here. So you can think of, okay, let's replace this with all of this app component.html. You might be asking yourself, well, how do I know that this tag right here is actually equal to this HTML. Well, this HTML and this component actually has a TypeScript counterpart to it. And I always like to think of the TypeScript as kind of like the code behind. So we'll click on that. And there's a few parts to this TypeScript file, but the one thing you want to pay attention to is the selector. And you can see the selector, in our case, is app root. And that's what that tag was called. So let's go back to our uh, app component.html. And here you can see the span on line 346, and it says these two curly braces open and close and inside this title, and then app is running. Well, this actually means that this is bound to the TypeScript file. So it's pulling title, the value of title, from the TypeScript file, and that's where this tour of heroes is coming in. And notice it doesn't say title, app is running. So if we go back to the TypeScript, 
here's the title. Let's change Tour of Heroes to just testing. And we'll hit save. And if you have your browser open still with the project up, you can see it instantly right after in the command line that it builds it. Uh, it changes it and refreshes it on the screen for us. Now you can see testing app is running. So you can see how these two are kind of linked, right? We have this bound title, which is bound to this value right here, this title, which we changed to testing. And uh, that that provided it to be changed that way. So hopefully that made any sense. Um, and the next one, I think we're gonna talk about components. I think that's the next step of this tour of heroes. We're going to create the, the interface here, create some different components. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I, I really hope that you at least learn something from this. I'm in by no way a master at Angular, so I don't want anyone to think that. Uh, I Like I mentioned, I just started learning this about three or four weeks ago. So this is all pretty relatively new to me too. But I, I hope it'll be a good experience for us. Um, and yeah, I hope you stick around for the series. I think it'll be fun. And I hope to see you next one. Take care.